we're gonna do the steak. We're gonna cut the piece of steak. We're gonna season it with some Cajun seasoning. Kind of trying to not do so much. You no know, salt, salt. And besides, I haven't really been out and about to, you know, grab hold of, you know, the different things that I need to have, you know, for our seasoning yet. And so we're gonna use what it is we were able to get hold of. So I found that this Cajun seasoning, I really like it a lot. It gives it a little zest to it, just a little bit of, you know, that's that kick you're looking for just right. And so we're gonna do a little bit of Cajun seasoning. You know, pepper is a must, so I'm definitely gonna, you know, do a little bit of that as well. Just a little bit of black pepper. I'm laughing y'all too, because this is not something that I'm used to, but I'm, I don't want to use the whole pack and overdo it. So we're gonna do a little bit of pepper. Again, we're gonna do just a little bit more Cajun season. I really like this. I encourage you to try this and kind of put it onto any meal. I mean, I put it in stews. I put it in just some, just about anything. So you know, we have to have our onion. I should have did this before I recorded, but nope. Decide that I wanted to spend a lot of time with you guys today. Again, this is the Cajun seasoning. I encourage you to use that. And you know we gotta have our onions, so that's I mean it's like a given, you know, with anything that you prepare. So we have Cajun seasoning, we have salt, but we have pepper. I'm gonna do a little bit of salt, just only because I don't have any, no lorries or anything. But for the most part, I use the lorries without the MSG. But you guys can see in a lot of my videos below. So that's that. Again, we're gonna do we're gonna do a little bit more of the Cajun season on top of the onion itself. I 
can't wait to go live on this channel. But we're gonna get there, don't worry. I'm gonna set my oven to four just to get it warm. So this is pretty much ready. I don't know, somehow I feel like I still need a little bit more pepper. So I'm gonna fight with this a little bit more just to get this open the way I need it. And I think I did it. I think I did it. Yep. Again, thank y'all for y'all patience. As I, you know, was doing the transgression into, you know, something new, a better environment, a better platform, you know, so that I could do this thing right for you guys. So that's what I did. And then I have the oven cooling off for a little bit. And then I'm gonna put this into the oven. I don't know, I like to do an hour only because I like my stuff to kind of fall off. You know, when I'm eating it, I like it to fall apart. And so I'm definitely gonna let that go a little bit longer than I normally would have. Still, still getting used to where I have everything at. Um, okay. So we're gonna cover that. A little nervous about how much of this I'm adding because I don't want it to be um, too spicy but however like I stated you know I haven't really been out and about to you know finish gathering up my seasonings and things but we're here so this is Cajun and I believe this is a great substitute whenever you don't have you know all the different seasonings you know at your region so I'm going to put a cover on that Let that sit there until the other warm up. Put that over there. And so we decided that we wanted to have potatoes. So I'm gonna do like a stew potato, but it's gonna be in the same pot as the steak. <laughs> Nobody has to, so thank God. So for this, I'm doing the potatoes. I'm gonna cut them in kind of squares and get them like a nice, you know, just to shape them nicely. So we'll get enough, you know, at every spoon or whatever the case. 
I'm going to, of course, add that Cajun seasoning to these as well. With, um, we're going to do more pepper versus the Cajun. So. We'll see how that goes. So, I hope everyone is doing well. No, I hope everyone is you know, definitely getting ready for their Sunday dinner. Again, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out the other channels for Fuse the Foods, BTS the Podcast. And also check out Refuse to Lose Music Reviews. Definitely some great upcoming platforms. And this one, this is what we do. We cook. Learn how to cook different things. You know, prepare meals differently you know, than what we used to. try to in fact I will be doing a lot more uploads on this platform now that you know I'm settled and everything and you know everything you know has passed and for the better and so you know we here we're gonna build these platforms we're gonna bring a little you know a lot of different things to the platform and just try to be as unique as possible So as I stated, the platforms that I have are, you know, platforms of things that what's encouraged me, things that really has helped me to grow and touch me as a person, such as music, um, learning how to cook. And so, again, I encourage you to take this journey with me as we grow these platforms. I definitely see us going places. It's, of course, going to take time because I just want it done, you know, God's will, God's way. But a lot of things I don't touch. A lot of stories you won't see me do. Um, I just believe everything is for you all the time. And so, that's just, so we have potatoes. I could add some more pepper to these. I think I'm going to add a tad of salt to just just a little bit. I know I can do it, but she be hard. Oh, I can't taste no salt, so let me get her a little bit. Mix this up just a little bit so that the flavor get all over the potatoes. Look at that. Can you see the seasoning through the potatoes? Those are gonna be delicious. And I'll be back. So we back and real quick, I just wanted you guys to see the potatoes. They really tend to fall in off as soon as I stick a fork in it. So you know what they say, stick a fork in it and it's done. But I'm going to put it in a broil line just to give it a little brown and over the top, and I'll be back. While we're waiting on the potatoes to brown, I decided to go ahead and get started on the green beans, which I have used olive, butter, salt, and pepper, just a little bit of salt and pepper, and I'll be back. And so now our green beans are ready, and we're going to plate this, and I'll be right back. <laughs> 